Hello, this is Josh with Techtopia TV, and this is a video about Microsoft Wordflow for iOS. Now, this is in beta right now, and it's a new keyboard that, well, it was on Windows Phone, but now it's out on uh, iOS right now, and they're planning on releasing it for Android as well in the very near future. And I just got into the beta, oh, I think it was probably Thursday night, Friday, early Friday morning, I think is whenever I got the email. And I've been kind of messing around with it ever since then. So I wanted to do a video on it just to kind of show you what it can do and what it's capable of and why I think it's awesome and why I wanted it so bad. Now, it kind of, really focuses on one-handed typing, uh, just, uh, I guess they call it, you know, uh, gesture typing, I just call it swiping, I, even though I know that there's a company called Swipe that, um, or an app called Swipe for this type of thing, I just call it swipe, swiping. Um, so th basically it's gesture style typing, but there's an extra little perk to it that I thought was really, really awesome. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So now what it is, is let me get into my extras here, which is where I have it. So this is the actual app that, that it came, I guess, with uh, when I downloaded it. So it has various themes, so you can change the different themes. Now this is what the keyboard looks like here. This is the standard layout. So it looks like a typical keyboard, right? You know, typical QWERTY keyboard, got the space, smileys, numbers, um, the, the um, settings and all that stuff, your uh, periods and quotations and all that stuff there, enter, back, and, you know, the whole, the whole shebang. So they have different themes, that's re a really cool thing too. Um, they have a whole mess load of different themes that you can use just right out of the box, right? So now the big thing is, I like to just keep it simple, but the big thing is, is that you can also create your own theme and it's literally like endless. I mean, endless possibilities because you can select that, there you go. Now you gotta, you can have any picture you want. Like I can have Techtopia TV in the background on my keyboard, anything you want. You can go to the settings and now you can change it to where it's a little bit wider. You can change it where it's you know darkens it out so that way the letters, the text colors are whiter. Go this way, this way. So it's really crazy the amount of stuff that you can really do. Um, you can even adjust this so you can have the text be a different color, green. Let's have it like blue for this color here and the red. So when you're swiping around, you have some crazy things, right? So it's a really neat keyboard. I mean, there's like a lot of customization that you can do. Um, so anyway, let's just go ahead and show you what else you can do with this keyboard. So I'm just gonna go to uh, my Twitter feed. Um, so that way I can act like I'm going to tweet something out, okay? So that way you can see what the keyboard looks like. Bam, there it is. So you have the regular standard keyboard, right? And you see it has like these little curved icons here. So if you're a left-handed, you swipe out and it curves on the left-hand side of the screen, right? Now you could swipe back up with this. So that way you can get to the standard keyboard. If you're right-handed, you swipe out with that one. You see the word predictions are still here. So then I can just type hi. YouTube, I'm texting, oops, texting with, this is kind of hard at this angle, word flow, I'll tweet it out. There you go. Hi YouTube, I'm texting with word, word flow. So, it's cool. Pretty awesome the way that the keyboard works, right? Because I mean, it's good for one-handed use. So the think, I think, oh, picture yourself holding it this way. You could boop, 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 type this way, or you can swipe around this way, and it makes it a little bit easier, right? So it's pretty neat. I really do dig the keyboard. Um, here you can go into themes and settings. The settings that it comes with. 
auto capitalization, sounds, double tap on space for your period, edit your theme, more settings. If you go to more settings, um, you can go into learn my words, uh, and you can have improved predictions by sending Microsoft my keyboard usage, which, you know, I don't like sending Microsoft anything, so I unchecked that one. Um, but overall, it is a, a pretty amazing uh, keyboard. I really do like it a lot, and I really think it's awesome the way that they have it laid out and the way that they did it. Um, let, let me see if I can get to where the smileys are. Now, this is really cool, too. Now, if you notice something, they start getting cut off down here on the end, right? So now if you grab this and you pull it, you hold the phone for moving, you can cycle through them all like a color wheel. That's pretty ingenious. I really like the way that they did this because you gotta remember, this is meant for like single-handed and just doing it all with one hand. So it's pretty insane the way that they have this thing uh, figured out here. I really do like it a lot. So I just kind of wanted to do a quick video on what the word flow is and why everybody is making such a big deal about it. I mean, I know that I when the first time I saw a video for it, I thought it was pretty amazing, uh, just because of, of the the one-handed corner texting. I thought it was really awesome, and I really wanted to get my hands on it. So whenever the the option came out to send an uh, an email in to ask to be invited to you uh, to go on the beta and be a member of the beta. Um, I jumped on it and I honestly thought I wasn't going to get it because I was on, um, what is it, the subreddit for iPhone and loads of people were getting into it already and they were uh, able to mess around with it. So I was kind of like, man, I guess I didn't get in, but then out of nowhere, a wild email appeared. So I was able to get in and here it is. So, I mean, the, the I mean, it's super fast. I haven't had many issues. I mean, obviously you saw that it miss, you know, it misregistered some things that I was typing out there, but that's because I was kind of swiping at an angle and just kind of really off. But I've been using it nonstop since Friday morning, and I have literally had to maybe delete and back out of like maybe I don't know, ten words at the most. And it's super simple, super fast, super accurate, and I really lo love the whole curved the curved keyboard for writing. So it doesn't matter what hand, if you're left-handed, right-handed, it doesn't matter. It fits everybody. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing the way that they did that. Like, let's go to uh, themes again, and then I'll just I'll, I'll just pick this one just because. Um, let me see if I can do it the way I wanted to do it. So letters, let me see. Let's make them red just for the fun of it, right? So you can lighten it up, you can darken it up. So save, save and apply. So that's my new theme now, right? So if I go back to my Twitter feed, there's my new keyboard. Now if I swipe it over, the picture stays the same, but the keyboard kind of curves inside, okay? But that's really awesome. There is a, a lot of customization with this. You can put pictures of your family, your dog, your cat, your computer, anything that you want in the background. So this has been Josh with Techtopia TV, and this was my quick first impressions of the Microsoft WordFlow keyboard for iOS. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.